Well, how are you doing? This is a follow-on from my earlier video um, about the nautical mile. <clears throat> this is a this is called uh, the nautical mile explained. Because there were some people on our opposing side who didn't seem to understand my earlier video, regardless of how straightforward it was. Okay, this is very simple. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> here is the GP of the star. Here is the observer. Here is a 40 degree angle, right, to the star, which is here. Okay, this is the observer zenith here. This is the zenith of the GP of the star. They have a co altitude. Okay, and you're going to read this out here. Then I'm going to show a very, very quick demonstration to show exactly what nautical miles are and why there, there are 16 nautical miles per degree. Okay. <clears throat> 40 degrees of angle, okay, 40 degrees of angle leaves a deficit from 90 of 50 degrees, which works out at as 3,000 navigators minutes, or 3,453.338 statuate miles of surface distance. But, but a more well-known term when referring to navigators minutes is nautical miles, as they had to convert every single navigators minute into an Earth surface equivalent. And that is why 60 navigators minutes became 60 nautical miles. Attention, attention, attention. This is the important part. Navigators minutes are sky miles and have absolutely nothing to do with a globe out or heliocentrism. Nautical miles reference the sky and statuate miles reference the earth. One is for distance, statuate miles, and the other is for navigation, nautical miles or navigators minutes. Okay. So this is how it works, right? So see this purple line here? This is the 3000 navigators minutes, okay? Or 3453 statuate miles, right? In a straight line distance. But because it's in the sky, it's not a mile, right? It's not a statuate mile. So what they had to do is take all these navigators minutes, right? Once they have uh, determined that distance, which is a co-altitude distance, they then take those 3,000 navigators minutes and bring them down to the surface of the earth and call them nautical miles. That's why there is three, sorry, that is why there is 60 nautical miles per degree because there are 60 minutes per degree, right? 60 navigators minutes per degree. That is why we have 60 nautical miles per degree, but we have 69 statuate miles. Statuate miles are surface-based measurement, okay? Whereas nautical miles, or a better term for them, navigator's minutes, okay, are a sky-based navigation distance. Two different things, right? Just because they have the word mile behind them, one is statuate and one is nautical. Look at the word nautical. What does it mean? It means navigation. It's a navigation mile, right? Nautical miles, navigation miles, navigators minutes. That's what's going on. So it has nothing to do with a globe, nothing to do with the center of anything or any other idiotic claim. Okay, they're navigators minutes. That's why there are 60 of them per degree because uh, 60 uh, nautical miles per degree because there's 60 navigators minutes per degree now i can't make it any more simple than this either you get it or you don't get it thank you